Excellent question. How does a German guy who speaks very poor English end up as the King of England? The answer lies in the person who was on the throne before him. That's this lady, Queen Anne. Queen Anne has a whopping 18 pregnancies, but none of the children survive longer than 11 years. By 1701, it becomes clear that she is not going to have an heir. Now, normally this isn't a problem for a monarchy. You just go back in the family tree and you find the next nearest living relative. Um, Anne does have plenty of those, and they would very much like to take the throne. Problem is, they're all Catholics. England is very much set on not having a Catholic on the throne again. In fact, these were all the wars that we were fighting at the time in order to stop Catholics getting the throne again. So Parliament goes down the list of succession and they cross off anyone who's a Catholic going past 56 people until they finally get to a Protestant who's called Sophia of Hanover. They even pass a law specifically banning Catholics from taking the throne, which is still in effect today. Now in the end, Sophia of Hanover dies before she can take the throne, so it goes to her son instead, George, who we ship all the way over from Hanover to come and be king. And that provokes another interesting question. Does that mean our current queen is German? And if you'd like to know more about that, I have a whole video linked in the description.